Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses RC to get kids excited about math and science. Today's episode, we're doing something non RC related, but still all about getting kids excited about math and science. This is a fat bike. Uh, if you guys haven't seen one of these before, uh, this one is called, or this one is made by Mongoose. It's called the Vinson with a V. And Oh, this thing is just a, an absolute beast. Um, there's there's the name there, Vincent. Uh, you know, you guys might first be thinking, oh, Mongoose, uh, you know, those, those bikes or whatnot. Uh, this one has actually gotten a lot of acclaim for being what it is, and that is a, a fat bike. Uh, these are four inch wide tires here. Uh, these just absolutely huge this is you know essentially a monster truck bike right a monster bike uh you know there there's some folks that um have criticized the frame for being a little bit too heavy uh i'm not too concerned about that i i actually got this as a present from a friend uh a birthday present so a uh, big shout out to to uh to my buddy there that gave this to me um they had uh, mountain bikes of various uh, I guess various stature over the last uh, you know 20 plus 30 years uh, but this is definitely the most imposing the hugest um, it, it I think I believe the frame uh, you know I could put the whole the, the specs in the, the video description but um, yeah this is this is a, a brawny beefy bike and you could ride this over snow in the sand uh, you, you know you don't need front suspension because or any suspension rather because the the tires are so huge uh there you know there were a, a couple of things that this was uh this was actually a, a floor model so a couple of adjustments uh you know still need to be made uh you know by by no means is this by visually perfect but uh you know i i could care less right people have done all sorts of things uh use these mountain bikes to go hunting with because you're not allowed to use motorized vehicles in in some uh state parks and whatnot so um yeah this you know people bring these in the snow again to the beach it can handle everything and disc brakes front and rear um these are uh s ram shifters right if you guys are into the the components and whatnot i don't know a whole bunch about them but this is my first bike with uh full disc brakes um, had to do one thing here uh, when I got this the um, the chain was actually stuck between the bracket here and uh, let me get a shot from here and wedged in uh, and held in by the uh, the screws here so uh, I had looked this up online some folks recommended just taking off the cranks right uh, the cranks themselves I don't have the tool for that actually so um, I, I tried to find another way around it, which we often do in the world of RC, right? You want to disassemble or fix your problem by doing the minimal amount of disassembly. So I was actually able to unscrew these hex head bolts here. Just point them out, yeah. So I took out all four of those from the smallest ring, and that allowed me to reposition the chain without removing the crank. So it uh, took me probably about 30 minutes, uh, maybe 45 to figure that one out uh, and do, do all the work. But um, took this out for his maiden voyage. It's a blast. Uh, just a couple more things uh, that, that I'll be addressing. Uh, the, the tires actually squeak a little bit. Um, so uh, my buddy said, hey, you know, take off the tires uh, from the rims, throw in some uh, talcum powder, baby powder in there. Um, that should resolve the squeaks. I also read online that just inflating them a little bit more uh, to 20 psi uh, for you folks uh, not on the the, uh, the metric system there. Um, so 20 psi, just putting some more air in. And I haven't actually checked the tire pressure on these, but I will do that next. Uh, but just wanted to show you guys our, our newest ride in the garage here. Again, this is the Mongo Mongoose Vincent Fat Bike, and um, just really. We're really looking forward to um, putting this through its paces here. You know, essentially this is a, a, a big monster BMX uh, mountain bike, whatever you want to call it. it it's uh, it's pretty much ready to take on all terrain. Uh, I was able to ride up uh, sidewalks, uh, you know, basically stairs up and down stairs um, with uh, with minimal effort. 
uh, you know, I, I should say there is some effort because this is a heavy bike, but um, definitely a hoot to ride around. So thanks again for watching. Let us know if you guys like videos like these and please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.